Good morning, my dear students. We are back with our science spirit. How are you all? I hope everyone is fine. So let's start with our lesson that is sources of food. We have started the lesson sources of food. We have learned in the last video why the food is important. It is all known that we have discussed from where do we get the food? What are the sources of food? Yes or no? We have learned about the uh, uh, two sources of food that we get the food from plants and animals. Yes or no? So this was about human being. The human being eat uh, the uh, human need they need energy to uh, to work. So they they eat a food from the they get from the plants either from the plants or from the animals. But now, what about the animals? They are also the living things. Then, what do they eat? Let's learn what animals eat. Let's learn about what animals eat. So, let's learn about food. Do you know? Now, some people or some students might have the pet animals such as dog, cat, cows, buffalo, goat. Yes, these are the pet animals. We can keep them, but what do you mean by the paid animals? The animals which we can keep at home. Yes, or no? They are called as the domestic animals. They are called as the domestic animals. Now, you might have, if, if you have a uh, paid animal such as dog or a cat, you might have observed them carefully. Then, can you just tell me what do they eat? Yes, if you will see the oh, cat, drink milk. Or some uh, some products such as meat, uh, 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 the cat might eat of eat meat or uh, chapati, yes or no? And what about dog? The dog can eat the different varieties of the food which we eat eaten by the human being, yes or no? So this was about the pet animals. But only the two animals are found in, on the on the earth. No, there are the different types of varieties of animals and all the animals eat the different food. So on the basis, so on the basis of the food habit, the animals are classified as into the three main types that is carnivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous. On the basis of the food habit, the animals are classified into three types that is carnivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous. Already in the class third onwards you are learning this concept what do you mean by the carnivorous, carnivorous, omnivorous. So let's learn 
appear rat even the human beings come under the omnivorous animals are you getting this so according to the food habit the animals are classified mainly into the two types that is herbivorous carnivorous and omnivorous so herbivorous means what the organism which eat only plant the organism which only eat plant they are called as in herbivorous carnivorous means the organism which depends on other animal for the food they are called as a carnivorous and omnivorous means the organism which eat both plants as well as other animals they are called as a omnivorous for example deer rat human being are you getting these are the examples have you understood this now the, there are some animals there are some animals who eat the flesh of dead animals they eat the flesh of dead animals so, uh, the organism the animals which are dead they eat uh, they eat their flesh and clean the environment too they uh, clean the environment too small the animals which eat for example if you will see the dead crow on the road okay if you will see any any dead animals on the road the all the crows come together and they eat that flesh yes or no it helps to clean the environment too and for um, it helps to clean the environment too and it protects our environment are you getting this so the such animals can call as a scavenger for example if you will take then the examples are jackal vulture these are the animals which comes under the scavenger they eat the the dead uh, dead they eat the flesh of dead and decaying animals they eat the flesh of dead and decaying animals such animals are called as a scavengers are you getting this and the next is decomposer next is decomposer so there are some organisms such as bacteria and fungi they are very small organisms they eat organisms such as bacteria and fungi which uh, which depends on the dead plants and animals and they decompose it so such animals are called as a decomposer what are called decomposer some organisms such as bacteria and fungi bacteria and fungi eat the dead plants and animals and decompose them such animals they are called as a decomposer are you getting this have you understood this so in today's video we have learned what animals eat so according to that animals are according to the food habits the animals are classified into three main types that is herbivorous carnivorous and omnivorous other than the animals are or there are also the two different animal two different types of the food habits the animals eat that is the scavengers and decomposers are you getting this scavenger means what they eat the dead flesh of other animals and decomposer means what the dead plants and animals they eat the dead plants and animals and decompose them so such animals they are called as a decomposer and scavengers and decomposer keep our environment clean with these two uh, scavengers and decomposer help the environment to win uh, to keep clean are you getting this i hope you have understood it in the next video we are going to learn about the food chain